All right, check this out. I'm doing a, a little test here. I'm testing the backlash on my machine. Um, I noticed that when I was doing a hole that there was kind of like a flat spot on the Y uh, part. So the, the, I don't know, it was just kind of flat there and I, I knew it must have something to do with my backlash um, settings. So I checked what they were. They're set for five thousandths of an inch. And then I used my little uh, indicator and I tested that and I was actually uh, measuring 20 thousandths of an inch backlash and I adjusted that and my circles were good so now I'm gonna check the X um, and I'll I haven't uh, done this yet so um, you guys can see exactly what's going on if you hit control and then your arrows then you'll move um, exactly a thousandth of an inch each time so I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna okay now to test the backlash I need to go the opposite direction so I'm steady at uh, 90 thousandths and I'm gonna start tapping the other way and I'm just gonna count so you'll hear some compensation for the backlash alright so that's done now I'm gonna count so one two oh all right so that's fairly accurate I need to add about a thousandth of an inch backlash for the X which I think that's also set for let me go here to config go down to backlash and I'm gonna go to the X axis and type in six thousandths of an inch enter it was actually it was actually one and a half thou, so, or one thousandth and five ten thousandths, I guess is the technical way to say that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again. So let's get to where the needle's exactly on one of these. All right. From this angle, it's right on 70. Now I'm gonna hit it once. Ooh, that made it move though. Two. All right, so we've actually, we're perfect. Yeah, I think that's right on the money now. So, Actually, that's perfect. Okay, so it's, I shouldn't say perfect because it's probably still a couple tenths off or whatever, but it's within a couple ten thousandths of an inch. That's good enough for uh, what I'm doing. And yeah, all right, so good, X is squared away. Now what I should do is test the Y again and just make sure that I'm right on the money. So I'm gonna stop this and then reset my indicator. You can see I just, this is a magnetic one it's a cheap one and it it works uh, it came with uh, I don't know some some tools I bought from somebody um, but it has a cheap dial here and for what I'm doing seeing uh, it's doing the trick now we're set up to check the Y and uh, yeah so I'm just going off of a somewhat flat surface there on that nice crappy vice um, so I got it set on 30 mark okay so that's set for the 20 thousandths and each click now will be 1,000th movement so we're just gonna wait for the dial to move one two three one two we got a half thousandth there so I need to increase it by 1.5 thousands all right all right one 
two. Actually, it should be two, right? Because, let's see, that will do the initial, that should move at one thousand. So that's actually two and a half. All right, so one, which is actually two. And right, now let's go back. Two, three. Okay, we need to increase it two and a half thousandths. We'll verify this. I probably don't make any sense. Sorry. Um, config, backlash, Y axis. So right now it's 0 0.02, which is 20 thousandths. We're going to switch that to 0 0.02252525. Okay. All right. Now, when we hit this thing, it should move at one thousandth of an inch. Here we go. Around the 30. Actually, that's the 29 mark, whatever. Bam. Okay. Good. It's moving one thousandths of an inch. And to show you the screen, again, I'm hitting control and then hitting the arrow. Bam. Bam. Damn. Awesome. Okay. Well, very happy with that. So now we're dialed in, both on our X and our Y. Damn, I suppose we should do the Z now. All right. That won't be hard. I'm going to switch this up real quick. All right. We are set up now to do the Z. So let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and hit page down, which will bring my Z down. All right, we've got some preload there. Now I'm gonna hit control. I'm just gonna get this guy. Anywhere works. Screw it. All right, so we're set on 42. I'm gonna hit page up now, holding control. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Okay, now let's see if it's the same going the other direction. All right, so we're on forty one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's about the same. So let's go ahead and make this adjustment. Going back to backlash. Going to Z. It's set for four thousandths. And let's switch this to 16 thousandths. Hit OK. OK. Now, hit Control. And hit Page Up. Well, that was too much because we're getting about seven almost eight thousandths movement there or one two three four five all right nice round number on 30 that's like that's crazy this is inconsistent it's 13 thousandths Well, let's minus 13 thousandths off of whatever number that is. Config, backlash, is that 16? What the hell? That suggests that we were accurate before. I think that what we've got here is there's some slop built in here. So it's moving. Team, actually, that would 
That would mean that we were right with four thousands before, which is bull. I'll have to investigate that further. It's something to do with the weight of this, this whole head and everything. I think that's having something to do with it. And the smaller stepper motor um, for the Z. I mean, these are only 300 ounce steppers. That thing should be like a 500 or more, I think, to make this proper. But anyway, that's how you do it and double check. Um, now, we've brought it back to four. I don't want to end the video without some closure here. Just want to end on a straight on number. Okay, we're close on 20, so um, I'm going to go the other direction. like no backlash <laughs> that doesn't make any sense let's go and double check this backlash is set for four thousandths and is moving three thousandths per click um yeah i'm not really buying that um so if we set this now for a thousandths does it remain accurate So we are let's increase that by one. This is a very boring video, but I think we need to go a little bit more config. I'm gonna add Z access to eight. So that's two thousandths and eight ten thousandths. Let's give that a shot. So control. That's too much. In a minus two five. Okay. <laughs> now it's like. Yeah, that's too inconsistent. For now, I'm gonna have to leave it. This video is getting long and boring. Okay. Now I'm putting this other vise on here because that other crappy one down there is horrible. And I forgot I had this thing sitting around the shop for years and I've never used it for anything. Got it free from somebody. And uh, I'm just gonna get this thing squared up so what I have is a parallel sitting in the uh, vise there. And I kind of cheated. I've already squared it up pretty close. I did it on the jaws of that, but on the jaws of the vise, um, the fixed jaw, and then ran it across and I got it within um, a thousandth of an inch and then decided, excuse me, decided to do something precision ground. And uh, yeah, so I've got the parallel on there. I move this across, see what the change is. I'm gonna zero, zero our deal out. So we're at zero. Damn. All right, so we're at zero. I'm gonna go across to the other side. And we're at about seven thousandths. Now, I've got the bolt snugged on this thing and I'm just gonna take a little mallet and tap Do a little tap in the direction I think it needed correction. If you don't know which way 
just tap it and find out. If it gets worse, you went the wrong way. It's pretty easy. But um, I'm gonna set this back to zero. I'm gonna do another test run. Good. Same, and we're about five thou. Did another tap. Whoops. Go to the other side. Reset on zero, which we're there. And we move less than a thousandth. So now, I'm going to snug up. My uh, two flute end mill is pretty sharp. Got myself pretty good. Actually, it was a tiny nick of a cut that's produced a decent amount of blood. Okay, now we snug that up. We're gonna move it again. See if we move much. And we did move several thousands of an inch. So that's why you want to go a little bit at a time. I don't know if we're gonna be able to tap it with it snugged as tight as I made it, but I'll give it a shot. So I tap that and I'm gonna zero. Damn, that got it perfect. Um, well, it's probably a sign I need more clamps on there. I only have, this thing's kind of a crappy thing to mount to this particular table because I don't have uh, many ways to fasten it. So, yeah, that's that. But for now, that's good enough. I can do some light milling uh, with just those two holding it. And uh, it would be a good idea to maybe mill a slot in there and get an additional clamp on here. Hopefully I'm not using this thing long enough to really need to do that.